From electric cars to the latest smartphones, technology has simplified our lives. But have you ever wondered what makes these devices tick? It's all due to a small electronic component, the semiconductor chip. These chips are the backbone of modern technology. Over the years, these chips have gotten smaller in size, but more powerful in terms of performance. The smaller the size of the chip, the more advanced tasks it can perform. Now, Taiwan dominates the chip sector. It has mastered the intricate manufacturing process of semiconductor chips. From slicing silicon wafers to printing patterns on minuscule electric circuits, Taiwanese firms are involved in every aspect of chip making. According to the latest data, Taiwan manufactures over 60% of the chips for the world. When it comes to smaller and cutting-edge chips, the country's dominance is even more pronounced. It produces 70% of all chips smaller than 7 nanometers. The island nation is home to some of the world's top chip makers. Leading them is the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC. The company manufactures chips for some major tech firms. Its list of high-profile customers include Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Nvidia, Meta and Tesla. TSMC's fabrication plants make chips for everything, from iPhones and Android devices, even for supercomputers and artificial intelligence systems. TSMC produces over 90% of the world's most advanced chips. So, what happens to the chip sector if Taiwan comes under attack? Last week, Taiwan's new president, Lai ching te took office. Just hours before the swearing-in ceremony, Chinese fighter jets and navy vessels reportedly crossed the sea border of the self-governed island. While these border zone violations are not new, there have been rising concerns about China's intentions regarding Taiwan. That's because China claims Taiwan as its own territory, although Taipei rejects this claim. In March, a top US Army official said that China is building its military and nuclear arsenal. The official said that Beijing is preparing to invade Taipei by 2027. From military exercises to ramping up gold reserves, geopolitical experts view every Chinese move as preparation for a potential conflict with Taiwan. Above all, on multiple occasions, China's President Xi Jinping has called for reunification with Taiwan. She has refused to rule out the use of force on the island. The resolution of the Taiwan issue is a matter for the Chinese ourselves to decide. We insist on striving for the prospect of peaceful reunification with the greatest sincerity and with the greatest effort. However, we are not committed to abandoning the use of force and we reserve the option of taking all necessary measures. A potential invasion of Taiwan can have far-reaching consequences. But many Taiwanese people believe that it's unlikely that China will invade them, all due to the island's dominance in the chip supply chain. For many, the presence of TSMC on the island works as a shield. Although Taiwan is not being officially recognized in the international community, we are important because we have a few top global companies, such as TSMC. Taiwan now has quite a good reputation, so I think they will not attack us just like that. Because the mainland has been saying they want unification for a long time, but there has never been any action. So I think as Taiwan has the protection of TSMC and US, they don't dare to take any big actions, because the US would also sanction them. However, this optimism is not reflected at the top. TSMC itself understands threats of tension with China. 
For years, the firm's founder, Morris Chang, has hoped for tensions to de-escalate in the region. At the same time, the firm has prepared for the worst. Since tensions between China and Taiwan have flared up, the firm has tried to diversify its production away from the island. TSMC has opened new factories in Japan and the US. It plans to build another facility in Germany. Taiwan itself recognizes these vulnerabilities. Earlier this month, U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimundo said that a Chinese invasion of Taiwan and a chip production halt by TSMC would be absolutely devastating. The U.S. has taken steps to reduce its dependence on Taiwan's chip makers. The country is providing billions of dollars in subsidies to chip firms. This is to set up new cutting-edge fabrication facilities on American soil. Even TSMC has received subsidies from the U.S. government and they have promised to make three new factories in the country. However, analysts say these efforts still face enormous challenges. Even with vast resources, it would likely take years to recreate the scale and capabilities of Taiwan's semiconductor industrial base. As per the analysts, in the near term, any serious impairment of the island's chip-making operations would severely constrain supply. This could likely trigger a chip shortage and lead to prices skyrocketing. That, in turn, can have a ripple effect on the global economy. According to one assessment, a war over Taiwan would cost the world around $10 trillion. This is equal to about 10% of the global GDP. Meanwhile, a new report says that TSMC has a new plan in case of Taiwan's invasion. The firm plans to remotely shut down all its cutting-edge machines. Now, as escalating threats from China cast a shadow over Taiwan, the island's chip supremacy has come under the scanner. Governments, businesses and consumers around the world are utterly reliant on these chips. Safeguarding Taiwan's chip production is imperative. If not, any war or conflict in the territory will most likely snowball into a chip war. One that could possibly upend the global tech landscape for years to come. <laughs>